Hi, I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's newsletter is going to be, She Lost Attraction and Needs Space. This is probably one of the most common topics that I see, especially for people that are new to my work or just found out about me. And this particular email that I'm going to go through is a guy who's been date with his girlfriend for about a year and a half. She started backing away and obviously he didn't handle it appropriately to the point where now she's not even sure if she wants to remain in the relationship. So she's come right out and told him that she's not attracted to him as she once was and she needs space to figure out her feelings. So obviously you can imagine this guy is in a state of panic and he doesn't want to lose this particular girl and that's where things get really dangerous for guys that are in this particular situation. Why would I say that? Because they're fearful, they're afraid and what you fear you tend to attract and what you look at disappears and when I say when you look at it disappears meaning you embrace, you move into, you're present with what you fear you do what you can do. You control the things that you can control and the rest, you just have to let it be. In other words, you let go of any kind of attachment to your outcome. And obviously, in this case, it's her staying with him. And so because of the fact that he is unsure of himself and, un, and he's behaving in a way that is communicating, he doesn't think he's worthy of her because he, in essence, is seeking her validation and her attention and not focusing on his mission and purpose in life and therefore he's displaying weakness which is confusing to her because her normally together guy now is acting like he doesn't deserve to be with her so that's going to cause her it's not attractive he's acting very needy which he admits which you'll see in a second but i got a quote that i wrote on this particular topic i'm going to go through his email so for guys that don't know, you definitely should be reading. If you're in this kind of a situation, my first book, How to Be a 3% Man, you can read it for free on my website, understandingrelationships.com. All you got to do is subscribe to the email newsletter. So if you're in a situation like this where your girlfriend or your wife has lost attraction, the best thing you can do in addition to watching videos is to learn the fundamentals in the book. And this particular guy has obviously had the rude awakening that he's got a knowledge gap. So let's see what we can do to help him fill that in so he doesn't make matters worse because as it stands right now, based on what this guy shared with me, he's actually in a, in a pretty decent situation to where he can recover provided he does things right and doesn't act out of a place of fear. So the quote says, love is about giving. You share your completeness with each other. You don't complete one another. Needing another person to complete you is a result of seeking attention and validation from outside of yourself. And that's primarily what this particular guy is doing wrong. When you depend upon external sources of attention and validation to make yourself feel whole and complete and content with your life, you deny yourself the ability to make yourself happy from within. Happiness is a conscious choice. You can either choose to assign positive and empowering meanings to the circumstances of your life and be happy as a result of where you are, or you can choose to be miserable and unhappy when people don't match your unreasonable expectations. The effort is the same no matter which way you choose to feel about yourself and your life. And so based on the story that this particular guy is telling himself about who he is and what he's capable of is causing him without realizing it to react in a way that is negative that is actually causing the opposite to happen of what he really wants in other words he wants his girlfriend to be drawn more near to him but yet she's backing up and pushing him away so you can imagine for a guy he's going to feel pretty out of control in this situation he says, hello coach, I am new to your channel and I found your videos very helpful. My girlfriend and I are taking space from each other right now and I would love to hear some words of advice and your opinion on our matter. We've been together for a year and a half now and we go to the same university. We see each other a lot 
And after talking about it, I came to realize it was too much and we were very loving, caring, and affectionate until recently. So in other words, he started displaying signs that he cared more about her than she did about him. In other words, he was behaving in a way that communicated he had more to lose if a breakup happened or things went sideways. Your woman wants you to be okay when you have not heard from her. She doesn't want you fucking freaking out and thinking the world's coming to an end when she hasn't gotten back to you in a short period of time or seen you as much as you would have liked. So this guy is looking to his girlfriend to be the reason why he's happy and his life is good. And therefore his whole identity is wrapped up in his relationship with her. And therefore, if he's potentially going to lose that relationship, oh my God, I have to do something about this to stop it, the illusion of action. This is typically what most guys do. We think we have to do something to fix things. And it's his doing things, his overdoing things, his over-pursuing and acting needy and unworthy that has caused her to doubt whether she wants to be with him. She's completely lost attraction. And it's just because he's not acting masculine. He's acting very feminine and unsure of himself. And she's the feminine woman that was in relationship with a masculine dude. And now that he's not acting masculine, she's not sure. So the quickest way to turn things around is for him to get back to acting like the dude he was before, focusing on his studies, hanging out with his friends. When a woman tells you you need space, you give it to her. Get in touch with me when you get a chance. Get in touch with me when you miss me. Well, call me when you get caught up with all those things and we'll get together then. You have to be okay with her going off and doing things. The ideal situation is, think about it, if you have a healthy situation, a healthy relationship, and all of a sudden, your girl gets busy and wrapped up with other things. In this particular case, maybe exams or the end of the semester at university. And you spent plenty of time together and you're content and you're happy and you're in your masculinity. And she needs some time to catch up on other things. In your mind, you should be going, wow, that's awesome. I can catch up with my buddies. I can have a guy's night out. I can clean out the garage. I can work on my car. I can get caught up in my homework. I can go to the gym. I can go see my parents. I can go see my friends. Whatever it happens to be, I can work on that hobby of mine. And you're excited. And then you go about your business in a day or two. You haven't heard from your girlfriend and it shouldn't bother you. And then all of a sudden she reaches out to you and goes, hey, I have been busy. I haven't heard from you. It kind of seems like you don't miss me at all. Of course I miss you, baby. Well, no, you don't. I haven't heard from you. Well, why don't you come over here and bring some wine, bring a six pack of beer bring me some Cheetos or whatever, and let's hang out, and I'll show you how much I've missed you. Ideally, you want her wondering whether or not you missed her, but instead, he's acting the opposite. He's acting like the girl, and she's kind of become the strong, masculine, silent, stoic one. So it's like the sexual polarity is completely reversed. He says, a month ago, she got very busy with her preparations for a competition she has now come back from. During this time, she asked for some time to focus and that we text less. So women help you when they like you. And so she's telling him, we need to be talking less. You're texting me a little too much. And he didn't really get the hint. He took it as, oh, she doesn't like me as much. I need to do something to make her like me more. The right way to be is like, all right, I got shit I want to do. Now I can get caught up and she's got busy doing other things. That's ideally the situation you want to be in. But he's looking to her to validate him. In other words, do you still like me? Do you still care about me? Do you think you're still happy with me as your boyfriend? Do you miss me? Are you going to want to stay with me? Are we eventually going to get married? Are we going to have kids together? Are we going to have a house together someday? Are we going to start a family? Are we going to get married? All those things. He's... Constantly looking to her to validate him that you're a good little boy. In other words, this typically happens when you don't get enough attaboys when you're a kid. You don't get healthy reinforcement. And that was my experience in my family. And I had to learn all this shit on my own. He says, it became hard for me. And while I did my best to respect her wishes, obviously he didn't really respect her wishes when she said, I need space. 
He says, it turns out I put too much pressure on her during these weeks. I mean, she told him what to do, but he didn't really listen. He didn't know really how to back off. When she came back from her week-long competition abroad, she was different. She felt that we spend too much time together, and if she was busy, she would feel guilty that she couldn't give me the attention I wanted, which also pressured her. Remember, you must love in such a way that the person you love feels free. That quote by Thich Nhat Hanh that I talk often about. And so that's part of his problem here. She no longer felt free. She no longer felt like an individual in this relationship. She felt like she was his human pacifier, if you will. She was there to soothe his insecure feelings instead of being equal and a teammate. And it fucking turned her off and she wanted to be around him less. How could a guy like that protect her when he's coming unglued because he hasn't spent enough time with her? She also said that during these weeks, her physical attraction towards me had faded significantly and that she was rethinking the relationship. So when you act feminine like that, I mean, it, the attraction dissolves that quickly. And as soon as you start acting masculine again, it'll come right back. She believes it's in her nature to lose attraction suddenly as it happened with her ex before. More than likely, she probably dated, had a previous boyfriend who was also needy. So in her mind, now she's thinking it's going to probably end up the same way with him, with you that it did with him because you're acting the same way. And again, she's still partially helping you here because she's saying this is what happened before. So in other words, don't be like my ex-boyfriend and chase me away. He says, however, I see that there is a correlation in my neediness in her losing attraction. Not until after a few days of me asking her too many questions. So he was constantly trying to find out where he stood with her. It was just communicated weakness and neediness and that he didn't feel worthy. You know, what woman wants to stay with a guy who doesn't feel worthy to be with her? It's not attractive. It's not helping your case. She is confused, she's confused with her current situation but knows that apart from the physical attraction, all her feelings for me are the same. However, because she is confused, she doesn't know if she still wants to be in the relationship. Oh, honey, you're just stressed out and you're going through a phase. In a couple of days, you'll be missing me and fucking kicking my door down and want to tear my clothes off again because you miss me. That's the kind of attitude you want to have. Oh, you want some time to go do some other things? That's great. That's awesome. Well, give me a call when you are terribly fucking missing me and we'll get together. Obviously, that's not what he did. What's wrong? What's wrong? Something's different. I feel you're slipping away. You don't seem to want to spend as much time with me. What's wrong? All her girlfriends tell her that once the feeling fades, it'll never come back. So it sounds like she's got some helpful girlfriends that are trying to sabotage it as well. Because the reality is, most women, that's their experience. When a guy starts behaving this way, he just keeps going that way until he completely turns them off. So now that you have 3% man in your corner, and hopefully you're reading it, you'll be doing the opposite of all those other guys. So eventually, they'll all be gushing over you and thinking, you're so lucky to have him. She was going to decide on it in a very stressful time of hers and within a week. After talking about it, she agreed to wait until the end of this semester to see if she thinks differently. We have exams coming up, so she won't actually see each other as much either. So when a woman asks you for space, give it to her. Don't call her, don't text her, don't do nothing. Let her miss you. Remember, it's a scientific fact that women are more attracted to men whose feelings are unclear. In this particular case, she knows exactly where she stands with you. She's bored. She's tired of your neediness. She's tired of constantly having to validate you. And she's disgusted by it. So when you just let her be and then she hasn't heard from you, then she's going to start think, does he not like me? Does he not care about me? He doesn't seem to be missing me as much. And the reality is it's much better for the relationship if she's more unsure than you. That's reality. That's just the way they function. I didn't make him that way. Complain to the big man upstairs if you don't fucking like it. I've understood that it would be best for us to get some space from each other in order to focus on ourselves and think about the relationship properly. I would just say, no, you're just busy. You're overwhelmed. Take some time. Get caught up in your studies. And when things clear up, get in touch. And then we'll hang out. 
Because of the limited time we have, we will be talking, taking about 14 days off from each other. After this, we will only meet up once a week where we will spend lunch to talk and study together in our free period. Well, now you've agreed to do things strictly on a platonic sense. I would have, in, instead of planning ahead of time in two weeks that you're going to go to lunch every day or, and do something platonic, because you're kind of friend zoning yourself here, when she finally reaches out, assume she wants to see you, make a date at your place, make dinner together, hang out, have fun, hook up. That's always the magic formula. That's what a date is at the end of the day. Hanging out, having fun together while you're hanging out, and then hooking up when the opportunity arises. I believe that this relationship of ours is worth saving and this issue is something that we can resolve. Well, if you start acting like a man again and get in your masculine and let her be and let her come back to you at her own pace instead of trying to force it, it will be her idea. And if it's her idea, then you're not going to have to worry about getting rejected. I would stop calling and texting her. Simply wait to hear from her. When you do, assume she wants to see you. Make a date. I am unsure whether there is anything else I can do after our time off to resolve the situation. Don't try to resolve it at all. Just hang out, have fun, and hook up. Let her come to you. When she reaches out, assume she wants to see you. Make a date. If we take the time off and she comes back to realize she wants this relationship, then that is great. I also wonder what it is I can do if the space isn't enough to have her attracted and committed again. Hang out with your friends, get back in the gym, get back into your hobbies and your interests, and just assume she'll get in touch when she misses you. Because the reality is you only want to spend time with her when she really misses you. Because if she misses you, she's going to be really super affectionate and want to be together, and it's going to be her idea. And in this particular case, because she's pushed you away and said she needs space, give her all the space she needs. And even if you don't hear from her for a week or two, you got to let her fucking be. Because you've obviously chased too much and more chasing is not going to make her want you more. All it's going to do is turn off completely and cause her to decide that it's best that the two of you go your separate ways, which is the exact opposite of what you want. I'm looking forward to your opinion and advice in this matter. Thank you. For your time well you're in a simple place the reality is you do nothing wait to hear from her assume she wants to see you make a date don't be creating all these heavy subjects and heavy topics and trying to find out where you stand with her just look at it for what it is her attraction level drop because you didn't act like a masculine man consistently now by acting like a masculine man consistently and letting her come to you it'll be her idea the attraction will grow and as her attraction grows for a for you again she's going to call and text you more to spend more time together so if you'd like to get my help personally and if you're in a similar situation and you really like to have some peace of mind and have me review it for you and give you my 50,000 foot view then go to my website click the products tab and book a coaching session with yours truly until next time i will talk to you soon